Well, let's bring in our guest, who's making her <laughs> debut. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, Heidi Cruz is here, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, wife of Ted Cruz, who's surging in the polls. Welcome. We're honored to be one of your first live interviews. Well, thank you so much. I thought you were going to ask me about my most embarrassing well, well, moment. You're, 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 out on the, you're out on the campaign trail. There must be some embarrassing moments from time to time. <laughs> well, we're doing we're doing very, very well. I've had a few safety pins here and there, but we're, uh, we're keeping it together. You sure, sure are. And I mean, as recent as this um, Fox News poll out of South Carolina, your husband's doing Doing very well. I mean, the senator is pumped up there. He's in third place right now. The response has been great. Uh, you know, Donald Trump is being hammered by the establishment candidates. You know, the Republicans are trying to get as far from his comments as it pertains to his plan for stopping Muslims coming into the country as possible. Yet, your husband's not. He's, he's kind of walked the line here. This is what he had to say uh, yesterday. I like and respect Donald Trump. I don't anticipate that changing at all. And, and my approach, no. the, the reason why I won't get engaged in personal insults and attacks, I don't think the American people care about a bunch of politicians bickering like school children. What they're interested in is positive, real solutions to the great challenges facing this country. That's why I am working to lead on defending this nation against ISIS, on standing up to radical Islamic terrorism, on stopping President Obama's plan. Well, and he said, he goes, that's not my, he goes, that's not my plan. He said earlier, but that's his plan and that's fine. So what about the tactic of not going after the other candidates? Is that what you support? We well, you know Ted, to, to, politics is not personal. It's about the issues. Mm -hmm. And I very much support that. And it's why when you see people attack Ted, he's unflappable and really doesn't get rattled. Um, this is about the issues to Ted. He's working hard to turn this country around. And we launched this campaign on March 23. And since that time, and we will continue to run our strategy and allow Ted to get his hopeful, optimistic message out for this country. Does I, he take things personally at home? No. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Ted is, uh, he, he is very even-tempered. Um, he was born to uh, two parents with wonderful qualities. Mm -hmm. His mother is very, very smart, very even-tempered, very patient. And Ted has some of those terrific qualities as well. Can I ask you, how did you all meet? We met uh, in 2000 on the George W. Bush campaign. Uh, I was, I'm from California and had come down to that campaign to work on the economic policy team. And somehow, in the first two weeks, Ted and I got assigned to almost every project to work together. And uh, we learned very, very early on that we are a great team. Your background, you went to Harvard, MBA? I did. Very impressive. Uh, Congratulations. Well, thank you. <laughs> Well, I got to ask you something else. On the front page of the New York Times today, it says Ted Cruz now showing his softer side. And it talks about an exchange with a little kid in the background, how he was crying. He wanted a toy and he did it. Can you describe this senator? We know him as a senator. Do you see that soft side? Is, what does he like? I hope away, so. A, away, <laughs> a, away from the cameras. Well, I, I certainly do see that soft side. And uh, the first weeks that I met Ted, uh, I really fell in love with Ted in the very first few weeks. Uh, we had uh, a fun romance. It was really love at first sight for both of us. And what I'd love for Americans to know about Ted mm -hmm. are, are the qualities that I fell in love with. And um, Ted is principled. He is a man who knows what he believes. Uh, he also is a person of great courage. He's totally unflappable. It's really hard to rattle this guy. Mm -hmm. um, and he's really thoughtful. And that's something that, um, unless you know him personally, uh, people don't always in the news, but he is the most incredibly thoughtful person, and you see that in how he treats me, our girls, and his mother. As, nice. as a mom, you have to have grave concern for the state of our nation right now. So when you see your husband willing to step up and potentially step in, as he hopes, in the White House, what are your, why do you believe he is the one to actually keep not just your family safe, but all families out there right now with young kids and grown kids who want better for the generations to come? Yeah. Well, Ted will put America's interests first and our safety first, and I know that. And there are a couple of very key reasons why I think we need Ted as our president. Ted and I think that this election is going to come down to trust. Who can the American people trust to keep us safe, to put our interests first, to improve our economy? And I can tell you, as his wife for 14 and a half years, you can trust Ted. Mm -hmm. He is going to do what he says he's going to do. He's always going to tell the truth. Now, he won't always do everything you ask him to do. <laughs> what's what's on your list? He will always do. It okay. depends on what's on your list. So what's on your list but right now, personally? One thing you want him to do. I want him to keep Americans safe. And I want him to allow the private sector to create jobs for this economy. Mm -hmm. And those are things. And I also want Ted to protect our constitutional liberties. And I know that he can and will 
do all those things, no matter mm -hmm. the political cost, no matter how hard it is, and no matter what other people are saying and doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are things you would, uh, he would like to accomplish for our country. Uh, at home, generally, since he is just your husband who's got to do the stuff, what does a typical Saturday honey-do list look like for Ted Cruz? What do you have him doing? Well, it's pretty long. Okay. Um, <laughs> but uh, 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 and he, he narrows it down appropriately. Is he a handy guy? Uh, no. Oh, really? No, not particularly handy. Um, but he, uh, he's very good at fixing things that involve problem solving. Um, so he'll read the directions, read through things. I had him do um, some homework with Caroline, our seven-year-old. Oh. Oh. And, yeah, and they, uh, I, I left the hardest problems for them. Of course. And what was so wonderful is she's a lot like her dad. And uh, I found them in the other room discussing the directions to the math problem. <laughs> and she was refuting that she could do it her way and, and she'd still get the right answer. Why didn't you help? You're the Harvard MBA. <laughs> <laughs> I did all the easy problems first. <laughs> That's great. Funny. Well, thank you very much. Heidi, Heidi Cruz for thank joining so us much. today. Thank you. Thank you for having me.